right guys, unexpected video to be making right now and uh, something that I'm kind of confused about. So hopefully people that are watching can maybe chime in. But basically uh, the ML55, for whatever reason, when we go over like a really hard set of bumps, um, I mean, normal for like, you know, on the road for typical cars to be able to go over with no issue. Uh, but any like abrupt hard bumps like that, the car will throw a bunch of warning lights like the BAS ESP and check engine light and like every, basically every light, um, I'll show you guys on, <clears throat> every light on the left side, like almost every light will come on when I go over those bumps and the car will basically, sometimes it will just turn off the lights and it'll go right back to normal. But sometimes like the cases right now, it will keep some of those lights on and it seems like it kind of goes into a limp mode. And then if we go to restart it after, right now it's not turning over, it's not doing anything. So the only fix that I had for it last time was just resetting the battery basically. But I'm hoping that somebody here that watches this might know what this could be. From researching online, um, the only possibilities that I can think of would be the all activity module or something to do with that system um, going wrong I guess. I've checked most of the relays and the fuses. Um, I thought it might have been the brake light switch which I replaced because around the same time this first started happening was when one of the headlights went out and then the brake lights were like failing and I replaced all those and replaced the brake, brake light switch and that uh, went away but yeah I, uh, my wife just came home and said that it happened on the way back home today and now we went to try to restart it and it's doing this so unfortunately that brake light switch wasn't the fix for this issue so um, right now I'm going to yeah steering wheel is not locked or anything it's in park I could try to put it in the neutral nope nothing so only idea right now I'm going to reset it, but because hopefully it has the code stored right now, I'm going to try to get my scan tool out and see if it does pull anything. All right, guys. So I have the uh, iCarSoft uh, MB Scanner 2 or V2, whatever it is, but um, for whatever reason, it's never really connected to the M155 for some reason. So if I try to go in here and, you know, search by chassis, <clears throat> um, it doesn't connect. But if I go to, yeah, it always gets a link error, no matter what I try. But if I go to just the OBD2 uh, menu, it does read from that. So we'll see what happens. But this not linking um, since I've had the car, combined with the fact that the, the key fobs don't work um, as far as like communicating with the lock system, um, it kind of does make me think that something's going on with the all activity module plus the fact that these cars are kind of known for that. So let's see what these say. It said three codes right there. Let's see what it says and maybe this will give us some sort of clue. Okay, vehicle speed sensor A. Uh, close the file of the manufacturer, please enter. Enter to select. Pending. Control equipment EGS can signal error. Control equipment KNW can signal error. EGS can bus interfered. And control equipment EGS can signal error. So same thing. So I don't know. I'm really hoping one of you guys that watches will know something about these uh, same issues. Um, and can shed some light. I'm, I'm uh, asking for a, basically a prayer to be answered right now. Hopefully my uh, <laughs> my Mercedes Karma credit is uh, 
of value for all that I've shared over the years. Um, hoping that somebody will be able to help me out on this one because I'm, I'm pretty stuck as to what this could be. So let's go ahead and erase it and fingers crossed that the car will start. Yes, I'm sure. Make sure ignition's on with engine off. Press enter. Talk to vehicle. Please wait. Please waiting. <laughs> Race command is okay, but the vehicle still has fault codes. Please check the vehicle and do it again. Let's see what's still there. Sometimes it says this and I have to do it a couple times. So, all right, let's uh, try this a few times. We'll exit out and then enter back in and maybe that will uh, help it. Let's see if it'll start right now. No. Um, I think air of the kill is connected correctly. Oh, that's because I just undid the battery. Yeah, let's go back to the main menu. Um, yes. So now it says codes found zero. Um, but okay, well, it looks like it cleared them, but we'll see if I still need to reset the battery here. Let's take this out. Let's unplug this. <clears throat> and fingers crossed. Nope. I am pretty stumped, to be honest. I can hear everything kicking on, but just nothing when I go to turn the key. So let's try to reset the battery. I'm just basically going to unhook it for a few minutes put it back on and restart it. That's what seemed to make it work last time. When this happened last time, actually we were like leaving Ikea and hit a really hard bump going over uh, train tracks and the car, you know, felt kind of weird. So I was like, and it threw all those lights. So I thought, you know, it's probably best if I pull over, stop it and restart it to hopefully reset whatever got triggered. But when that happened, the car wouldn't restart. We were in kind of a tricky spot on the road. I was with my wife and son. So definitely not in the most ideal situation. Thank God uh, there was like a, a used car dealership and I think a Chevy dealership right there. And I ran over and asked them if I could have a wrench to try to reset the battery because it was one of the days where I just didn't have tools with me for whatever reason in the car, which I normally always try to have. Um, and luckily they had a little spanner wrench and I undid the battery hooked back on and the car started back up and we got to go home. But I was uh, very prepared to go through whatever we had to do to get us home and call a tow truck or whatever to get the SUV back home. So that would have been a shit show, but um, luckily that didn't happen. Um, so yeah, this is not an ideal thing to be happening and not something that I want to, you know, contemplate having when this is my wife's daily driver with my son. They need to be in like a safe, reliable vehicle. So this is something that I need to get sorted out like ASAP because uh, yeah, it's just not a good thing to have to, you know, have this happen and then like need to unhook the battery somewhere wherever it ends up happening and resetting it. So this needs to get taken care of. So I'm really asking for you guys, uh, your help on this one, please, if you know what it could be or you have any experience with this chassis or this direct problem uh, please 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 chime in uh, comment down below and hopefully we can find a solution but anyways um, let's go ahead and reset the battery and see if that will do the trick for now all right so <clears throat> battery is unplugged I did the positive side even though you should do the negative side it's just that one's a little hard to get to um, 
I don't really know what this could be if I'm being honest with you guys. Uh, I did notice that the battery is, I don't know if you guys can see that, but this is definitely able to be shaking around a bit, which is not great. Um, didn't notice that before, to be honest. So I think what I might try to do is um, switch this out. I have the Odyssey battery that I need to swap in anyways from the C55 after I swap that one to the smaller battery. So maybe it's time to get this thing out eventually and uh, kind of inspect this whole area, inspect the ground wires and make sure this thing is anchored down properly. But uh, yeah, let's uh, plug this thing back up and see if it has worked some magic. Alright guys, so well, battery is reset. Fingers crossed. Man, no way. This sucks. Alright guys, I'm not sure if I uh, got this yesterday or not, but anyways. Um, I left the battery unplugged for about an hour last night and then came back and plugged it back on. And luckily the car did start. I've driven it around, all the lights are off, it's back to normal completely, um, just how it was the previous time this happened. So, next thing I'm going to do right now is take it over to the garage and just start kind of inspecting throughout the car, see if I can find any chafe wiring, um, any odd looking sensors, any corrosion on any sensors or any connections. Um, I am going to pull the battery and swap in the Odyssey battery that I have that was in the C55 before and also check the battery terminals and um, negative and positive wiring to just kind of look over everything. Um, with that wheel speed sensor A, the P0500 code, that is for either the front left or the rear left so I'll probably pull both wheels off and take a look at those speed sensors. They're pretty easy to undo, so I'll take them out, clean them off, see, you know, check out the wiring and all that stuff. But anyways, I'm fingers crossed that we can find some sort of solution to this. Otherwise, it's just going to be kind of a ongoing thing that we don't know the direct causation of. So, yeah, I'm uh, throwing up a prayer right now, but hopefully it is answered somehow. Hi guys, made it up to the garage and starting by doing the front and rear left side uh, wheel speed sensor investigation uh, or checking out or whatever you want to call it. But uh, so far I looked over the wiring um, and it doesn't appear to be chafed anywhere. I just uh, pulled it out and it does seem to be, you know, somewhat gunked up. Um, I don't. I wouldn't expect it to be spotless by any means, so I don't, I don't know if this would be out of the realm of, you know, normalcy for a wheel speed sensor. Um, but it doesn't look like any anything crazy, at least. Um, it's definitely a little gunky. I'll definitely do my best to uh, clean all that out of there, but it's not terrible um, but you know who knows it does definitely does have some grit down in there and could have been getting blocked up so I'll spray some contact cleaner on there and get this all cleaned up put this back in probably look at the rear as well and then uh, swap out the battery check those terminals and uh, the last thing I want to check as well as the conductor plate plug See what kind of shape that is in I haven't looked at it for a while. So we'll check that out as well But I'll just kind of update you guys as I go along if I find anything out of the norm All right, you guys moving on to the rear now uh, I got the front all cleaned up, but I Mean, I don't know you guys tell me if these look out of sorts to you, but again, not like any massive massive goop or corrosion the uh, speed sensor rings look clean they don't look rusted out um, but again I will clean this all up and get this 
put back in. I don't know, you guys tell me. I feel like these could be bad. Let me know. All right guys, this is what it looks like when it's cleaned off. You can see the two, I think magnet strips right there, um, exposed now. And inside of the barrel is pretty clean. Um, so, go ahead and pop this back in and I, I don't know really. <laughs> this is one of those weird issues where you don't really know if it isn't happening anymore unless it doesn't happen. <laughs> so, it's hard to even tell if it is uh, fixed or not, but I guess time will tell. All right guys, last thing I'm gonna try for the day is, uh, as you can see, taking the battery out. There's the old battery. There's the battery from the C55 that I'm gonna swap in, the nice Odyssey battery from FCP Euro. Uh, nothing wrong with this battery in particular. I mean, it's a uh, Duralast, it's from 2019, but um, I definitely think the Odyssey's probably a better battery for sure. Um, but yeah, I don't think anything is wrong with that one at all. And looking around here, I don't see much that tells a bad story about ground except for these down here look uh, fairly corroded. And these go to the, um, I'm not really sure. I don't know what all of the connections are for on the positive cable. I know this one is for the uh, fan relay, but I don't know what this one runs to. Um, but I'm sure if it's going to the battery, it's probably something critical. I don't know. Uh, but this situation back here is odd. It's like, it's like a plastic plug. And it's definitely an area where just moisture can collect. And it looks like those grounds are fairly corroded. So, while I'm in here, I'm going to try to clean things up. I'm going to hit the spots that I wasn't able to hit with the uh, rust converter on, on the actual bracket here and the frame. And then I will try to clean those off with a wire brush. I'll undo that and get those off of there. And then maybe I can do these as well. This one does look like it's, it's not exposed wiring, but um, it doesn't look the best. So I'll probably, this is a 10 as well. No, it's bigger than a 10. So I'll get this off and clean all of these connections. And yeah, to be honest, um, it might not be a bad idea for me to use some of that extra battery cable I have from the uh, C55 relocation and make some new cables, uh, at least for the negative. These look fine. Um, you know, the other thing that I've We'll probably look into doing is the voltage regulator on the alternator uh, because something that should be taken care of and uh, hasn't been done yet so I will probably get that on order they're not too expensive around 30 or 40 dollars so yeah uh, but for now this is the last step I'm gonna try tonight and like I said this is just gonna be one of those things where it is a time game um, to see if it happens, if the same thing is replicated, and uh, if anything we did here solves it permanently or not. But I'm not hopeful in any sense. I'm I'm just gonna kind of remain with no expectations and go through things one by one, and time will tell. All right, guys, Odyssey battery is in. I cleaned up all those connections as good as I could. That's gonna kind of do it for this one. I don't really know exactly uh, what steps to go through next uh, as far as right now goes. So 
hopefully someone out there if you guys are watching this um, have some experience with an issue with an issue like this it's an it's a very unusual one and hard to diagnose just off of the way it's happening um, but to recap hard bumps and that's not a guarantee all the time but when it does happen it's on a hard bump throws a lot of warning lights when the car shuts off it's not able to restart it doesn't crank it just is flat uh, all the lights all the functions work inside of the vehicle so the vehicle has power but it just won't start when unhooking the battery putting it back on it will start the first time we did it i just unhooked the battery real quick put it back on it started right away the second time that it just happened had to leave the battery unplugged for about an hour like i said and then it was able to restart so with all that in mind i kind of feel like it's something module related um, or sensor related just because if it was based on a ground or chafing wire or something like that that wouldn't magically get grounded or get aligned again in between me you know undoing the battery and, and putting it back together and starting the car so i don't know um, i think next after i drive for a while maybe i'll look into the abs module I know those are a pretty common thing on the W163s. And after that, maybe the all activity module. Because with it not being able to connect, especially to the scanner, and it's not able to link with the ECU, it does make me think that there is some failure going on with the all activity module. Plus with the keys not working, the key fobs not working. So um, yeah, I'm stumped. I'm not gonna pretend like I have any clue right now. I'm just kind of going through one by one of what makes any type of sense at this point. So yeah, to be continued for sure. Count on if I do find a solution, seeing a video for it. But until then, I would much appreciate any of you guys' experience. Share it down below or email me, message me on Instagram some way. And uh, I will talk to you guys then. All right, thank you for watching. See you on the next one. Peace.